Hello, print princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today I'm really excited to talk to you about the brand new Souffle Eyeshadow from Surat Beauty. The brand was kind enough to send me over three of the six shades. I appreciate them so much for that. You know I am a huge fan of Surat and I can't wait to try these on and talk to you about them. Don't forget that whenever you order directly from the Surat website, you can use the code NOTFITFORPRINT15 and get 15% off site-wide including these souffle eyeshadows that we're gonna talk about today. I definitely have a link below, and don't forget to use code NOTFITFORPRINT15. Important, gotta get those savings. Don't forget also that you can watch me over on TikTok, Instagram, and on threads, but let's get busy here today. The new Surat Souffle eyeshadow is very innovative. I have seen a lot of products in my life and I actually have never seen anything like this. I have some close-ups, we have to discuss it. It's pretty darn cool. So this comes in six shades and is $48. I have three shades here. We're gonna swatch them in two different lightings, actually kind of three different lightings and try them on. They are $48 each. They come in this beautiful, very Surat-esque little container here that is ombre, kind of, multi-chrome really and absolutely beautiful. The shadow inside is very interesting. It's like a souffle, very much so. You'll see what I mean. The cap twists on and there is in each a little plastic, you're probably meant to throw this away, but a little plastic cover. Now Surat Beauty advises that in order to make sure this product stays and doesn't dry out, keep them nicely and tightly covered. And I'm gonna actually use the little plastic cover on mine too, just to be extra safe, because these are super pretty and I don't want anything to happen to them. I want to really quickly, I will show you what three shades I got, and then I wanna show you something really interesting about the texture. I have all three uncapped now. Of the six, $48 each, Surat was kind enough to send over this beautiful shade. You'll see it in a moment. This is the Ciel Dora shade, it's kind of a, caramely shade. They also sent over the Rose Reef shade, a rosy shade obviously, and the Plume Mauve shade, obviously this beautiful mauve shade. We're going to try them all on and do some swatches. But the first thing I want to do is I want to go to a quick video that I snapped. I went to swatch these for you and I was shocked at how difficult it was to kind of I, I was really unfamiliar with the texture. Now that I know it, I'm fine with it. But when I first went in, I thought, what is this? So take a look at this video that I shot. Look, when you touch it, it's almost like you have to break a seal. It really feels bouncy, like a souffle. Now you're gonna say, oh, okay, like the eyes to mesmerize kind of mousse from Charlotte Tilbury? No, because if you touch that, that comes off right away on your finger. This, if you tap it, it's not gonna come off. You have to be intentional when you go in with your finger, maybe with the back of your nail, if you're gonna scoop it, maybe with the back of the nail or with a brush, however it is that you wanna use these. A really interesting texture. It is definitely bouncy, definitely light. Feels the same way it would if you would tap a souffle when it's done baking. It's the only thing I can say. It is so innovative and so interesting, and but feels like a really kind of cool, very bouncy, see almost if you were to touch your finger on it you could almost pull it with your finger the entire jar. it's really fascinating and beautiful and fun to use really fun to use so let's go ahead and take a look first of all at the swatches okay um, here on my arm first in studio lighting we have the Ciel Dore the rose shade and then the mauve shade obviously and that's just in studio lighting these are you're, you're gonna see about the shimmer. These are really kind of long wearing, almost like a watercolor wash. They're um, really dynamic, multi-dimensional in a way. They have a lot of shimmer, but they are not glittery. You'll see when we go outside. They have a little bit of sparkle to them, but I know you guys get very intent on how glittery something is, and these really aren't what I would call glittery. They're water-based quite obviously, and they have a very nice like whipped texture, a cooling feel, feeling, and I would say it's more of 
a shimmer finish than a sparkling or um, glittery finish. I would say shimmer would be more accurate. When we take them outside right now in the warm California sunshine, follow me on my arm and you'll see that I take them from the light into a little less light into shade, just so you can kind of see what I mean by sparkle. And they, yeah, they're really quite beautiful. They dry down really quickly and don't move. A good way to put these on is like to take them with your finger and kind of tap them in, but you can use a brush too and smooth them on. They are very, very smooth. They can be layered really nicely. They can be put on top even of a powder or other type of eyeshadow, but they won't crease and they remove really easily because though they're not gonna move, they are not, very a very heavy shadow they're really water-based and very pretty as a result totally absolutely unique product i have not seen any product like these i do have them down below in the description bar along with everything else from Surratt that I am wearing right now, which is a lot of good Surratt products. Don't forget that you can use those links below along with my code at checkout, not fit for print 15 and get 15% off site wide, including these new souffle eyeshadows. They are so beautiful. You can also learn about our $4.99 a month membership to this channel, private membership. We have weekly gossipy lives. We would love to see you there. Okay, I want to try these on because they're so interesting. Now, I think the way I would probably use these maybe is mixed with a powder shadow, but here today I want you to just see them unadulterated as they are. A really beautiful, subtle, sophisticated look. You know Surat is all about taking that kind of New York street and bringing that Japanese ingenuity into it. That's really what they're all about. And I think this really captures the essence of that. I'm gonna use a little bit of a brush so I'm not scooping with my nail. Maybe if I were all alone, I would scoop with the back of my nail, but I think we'll tap them on with the brush. And I'm gonna put this beautiful kind of caramel uh, Cieldora shade on first. Take a moment as I prepare here to make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. I am oh well over 18,000, but I'm looking at 20 just on the top of the hill there, and I would love your help to get there, so please subscribe. Okay, let's take a little bit into this shade, and look at how bouncy that is and pretty. It's like I haven't even made a dent. And I'm just gonna show you me putting this, it almost appears like a bronze, onto the eye. We're gonna do a few different things with these shadows onto the eye just like that. And you know what these remind me of? They remind me a little bit of the lid lacquers from Surratt, but minus any sort of a gloss. So take a look at that. Look at that, how simple that is. And when I open my eyes, you just get a little bit of a glance of it. And it's so pretty, but think about how this could either be a base or a topper for any other kind of powder eyeshadow or any eyeshadow you want. We're gonna even mix some of these together. I'm gonna to put this on, this is really buildable. So I'm gonna put them on a little bit more. You can go ahead and use your fingers. And they do dry and it's not glitter, but it is a shimmer, a really kind of sophisticated shimmer. Yeah, do you remember the lid lacquer from Surratt? If you're a Surratt fan like I am, you'll know. The lid lacquer is indeed a lacquer. And so therefore, you know, very shiny and wet. This kind of has that ethereal feeling to it, minus any sort of the wetness, but it feels so nice and cool. When you put it on, it actually feels like an eye treatment. That's the best thing I can describe. Let's try this rose shade all over this other eye. I'm just gonna kind of mix these up here and see how we do. Again, you've gotta go in with purpose um, when you put these on. And if you have short nails or long nails and you wanna use the back of your nail, you can certainly um, press these on and pat them on uh, with your finger. It doesn't have to be, and it doesn't feel messy or sticky. You know, like we were talking about mousse shadows before, that kind of is gonna get all over. This, this really wouldn't even need to barely be washed off. Not suggesting that you don't wash off your hand, but you know what I'm saying. So let, let's take a look here. That is a light wash of the rose shade on this eye. Isn't that beautiful? And like I said, it feels um, really cooling, like an eye treatment. And it's just so pretty. And as I build it up, this is just extremely subtle and extremely sophisticated if you don't want a really heavy makeup look. 
I don't think a really complicated eyeshadow look is really of the moment right now. I know I review them a lot and I have a lot of fun with them, but I think this really minimalist approach that Surratt has in general really works right now. All right, I really wanna take a look at this mauve shade, this mauve shade, however it is you say it, the way you prefer, either way works. I'm gonna take it and combine it with this shade here on this eye. I'm just gonna show you how you can put two of these together because you know one is fun and two is a party here. I just thought it would be really pretty to add that in. Now I'm making it a little bit more of a look, but look at how, I hope the camera picks it up, how gradual the change is from that kind of caramely bronze shade into that mauve shade. See how it just kind of transitions gently? I hope that camera picks it up. And I could do the same on this side too. I'm just playing with these because I think the rose would transition into the mauve beautifully as well. And I'll even take some on this eye and darken the crease with it a little bit. So let's just almost take that and there we're gonna get a much more dramatic look running under the eye. I'm just having fun at this point. Now this is a much more dramatic, involved look while still feeling very kind of minimal and pretty. I think that's my favorite. I like that rose transitioning into the mauve color, although it, I think it works on this eye as well. And the mauve comes off um, differently, doesn't it? When I put it with the kind of caramel, it almost goes a little bit more of a silvery gray. And you see, I hope you note, what I'm talking about with shimmer instead of glitter. This is a really innovative, pretty product. Uh, in case you're wondering, yes, I have worn it before today. It lasts and lasts, but it washed off really easily with just my regular face wash that I use. Um, it's a beautiful product and so innovative. And I like it so much better than those other messy potted shadows and I, that's another thing I like about it. It's just not messy and really easy to use and very, very pretty. The only thing I hadn't tried before was combining them. That that I com I tried new, a new today with you. Wow, really, really pretty stuff. So um, lovely, $48 a pop, but I haven't even, I've been using these for days and look, it looks brand new. Like you can't even tell. They're just so gentle and beautiful. And remember, you do have to keep them stored up really nice and tightly because you don't want them to dry out. I'm gonna make sure that mine do not. Absolutely beautiful, but I do hope that when you use my links down below, you remember to use my code not fit for print 15 That will save you 15% site-wide. Please do. And ask me any other questions you want down below. I am a massive fan of Surratt Beauty. I have never hidden this. I have made no bones about it. I love this brand, and it is an absolute pleasure that they are so kind to send me this in PR. I'm so appreciative and super duper in love. This is gonna be a holiday look for me. I think this one, I think that is gonna be my favorite look. That's making me very, very happy, actually. And I bet you could probably even put this on maybe some cheeks. I'm gonna play around with it. They're pretty. I think they're worth the money. It's a true luxury experience. Ask me any questions that you want below. That's what makes us a community. And don't forget to like, share, of course, subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye-bye.